Social media, it's everywhere. It's on our phones, our computers, and let's be real, it's probably the first thing you checked this morning. And when it comes to fitness, platforms like Instagram and TikTok have become the go-to sources for workout tips, diet plans, and of course, those jaw-dropping transformation photos. But here's the thing. What if I told you that the same platforms that are supposed to motivate and inspire us might actually be doing the opposite? Today, we're breaking down the influence of social media on fitness, how it motivates us, how it misleads us, and how it might be setting us up for failure with standards that are almost impossible to reach. Let's start with the good stuff. Social media has undeniably democratized fitness. You don't need a fancy gym membership or a personal trainer to get started. All you need is a phone and boom, you've got access to thousands of workout routines, diet plans, and more motivational content than you can handle. And let's be honest, seeing someone else crush their fitness goals can be incredibly inspiring. It's like having a virtual cheerleading squad, hyping you up to get that workout in, even when you're not feeling it. But here's the flip side. Social media can also create a false reality. Those perfect bodies you see, those flawless workouts, they're not always what they seem. Think about it. How many times have you seen a fitness post and thought, I'll never look like that? Or, why isn't my progress that fast? The truth is, what we're seeing online is a carefully curated highlight reel. These posts are often edited, filtered, and designed to show off the best angles, the best lighting, and the best moments. But what they don't show is the struggle, the setbacks, and the real, unfiltered journey. And this is where things get tricky. Social media can create unrealistic expectations that make us question our own progress. It's not just about inspiration anymore, it's about comparison. And as they say, comparison is the thief of joy. Studies have shown that constant exposure to these perfect images can lead to feelings of inadequacy, anxiety, and even depression. And when it comes to fitness, this can be incredibly damaging. Instead of celebrating our own progress, we start to focus on what we don't have. Abs like that, arms like this, or legs like those. And that's where social media can turn from a motivator to a trap. So how do we avoid falling into this trap? How do we use social media to our advantage without letting it dictate our self-worth? Here's the play. Control your feed. Follow accounts that keep it real. Look for transparency. People who share both the highs and the lows of their journey. One of my favorite influencers is Sean Nalawani. I have a video about him on my channel highlighting the great tips he shares. Focus on your own progress. Your fitness journey is yours alone. What works for someone else might not work for you, and that's perfectly fine. Take digital detoxes. If social media is getting in your head, take a break, disconnect, focus on your goals, and remember why you started in the first place. Be critical. Not everything you see online is what it seems. Question the content, look for authenticity, and remember that even the influencers you look up to have their own struggles. At the end of the day, social media is just a tool. It can build you up or it can tear you down. The choice is in how you use it. Keep your goals in sight, stay true to your journey, and don't let the noise distract you.